This is a 17-year-old Lionel Messi in 2004. We're going to re-simulate his career up to modern day and see how it changes. His entire team is back in 2004, as well as the entirety of world football. And I'm going to simulate it all out with Derby, so I have no influence on his career at all. 100% organic decisions. Let's see where he's at at the end of 2004. Messi's gone up four overall already and only played 12 games, but he isn't the starting right winger at the moment. I think actually Iniesta is, so we'll wait for him to get a bit better and then see how he does. But in better news, they won La Liga, or they're certainly top at the moment, but their rivals Real Madrid made a Champions League final. Ooh. And in the final game of the season, I'm going to start Messi just to see how he does. He doesn't score. Okay, fair enough. All things considered, a pretty good first season for Messi. Let's come back once again next year and see if he's even still at the club. The interesting thing about FIFA simulation is that people that are super good, like Lionel Messi, will have the chance to transfer early on in his career and late on in his career as well. But when he's at his peak, his value is so high that nobody is going to be able to afford him. So he'll just never leave. So if he's going to transfer anywhere, where he'll probably do it before 21-22. If he's gonna win a Ballon d'Or, he's going to have to beat out his teammate Ronaldinho, who has an absolute chokehold on international football at the moment. And once again, Messi's gone up four overall. He's up to an 84, and he's played this season 23 and six from 47 games. is very, very good, especially for a 19-year-old kid. However, they don't win La Liga this year. Real Madrid knocked them off the top, and they win the Super Cup, and they win the Copa de España. Real Madrid do a domestic treble, and they're in the Champions League final. Oh my God. Barcelona got knocked out in the semis. We would have had now classical final but Juventus just got in the way. Did Real Madrid complete the quadruple? They did. 3-2 win over Juventus. Real Madrid do the quad. Messi has a lot to live up to quite clearly. How is he going to knock Real Madrid off the top of European football? Is he going to knock Real Madrid off the top of European football? What kind of career is he going to have? He could just be terrible. He could just peak now and never get any better but I have a funny feeling that's not going to happen. And in the Argentina team for the World Cup in 2006, Messi's here. He's on the reserves though even though he's higher rated than the current starting winger so I'm just going to play him because it makes sense. In their first game they draw in their second game they draw and in their third game it's Lionel Messi versus Cristiano Ronaldo very early both of them starting and we are live in La Bombonera it's Argentina versus Portugal in 2006 it's Messi versus Ronaldo I think Ronaldo's 21 and Messi's 19 both extremely young but it's the World Cup they're playing in Portugal have some legends playing but so do Argentina it's Pauleta for Portugal and Argentina have Crespo Raquel May to Crespo again young Ronaldo a player to watch Brilliant tackle by Portugal. Duda into Ronaldo. Ronaldo bodied by Colaccini. Cristiano Ronaldo into Pauletta. Saved. Messi again. Brilliant pass to Crespo. First chance of the game. Tackled. Cristiano Ronaldo with the last touch of the half. But Lionel Messi with a brilliant pass to Crespo. Brilliant football from Argentina. And they come again. Crespo. Brilliant tackle. Crespo still on it. Messi with the tackle. It's Messi. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, that was the first big chance of the game and Messi blazed it over. It's Pauletta straight through the middle. Good stop again. Portugal getting a couple of half chances, but nothing major. Crespo comes off for Argentina and Messi stays on. Brilliant play. Ronaldo through the middle sets Pauletta. Pauletta 1-0. Portugal take the lead. Pauletta with the first goal of the game and Argentina needs something to get back into this or they're going to go out with the group stage. Remember, they have two points. They need more than that to survive. In the first bout between Ronaldo and Messi, is Ronaldo going to get ahead? Here come Portugal again. It's Ronaldo through the middle. 2-0. What a finish. Cristiano Ronaldo buries Argentina. And they're crashing out of the World Cup at this pace. Messi had a chance and missed it. Ronaldo did not think twice. Buries it. And all of a sudden, this uphill battle seems to be a little too much for Argentina this time around. Brilliant play. Cristiano Ronaldo is through once again. Is Ronaldo going to make good on this chance? Sets in the middle. Samao back to Ronaldo. Ronaldo tramps it. 3-0. Brilliant football from Portugal. Argentina all at sea. They have a long way to go before they can start competing competing for World Cups. Cristiano Ronaldo with a goal and an assist. Brilliant play from him. And that's going to be it. Game over. Messi with the last touch of the game and Cristiano Ronaldo dominates in a brilliant Portuguese performance. If you look at team rating, Ronaldo doesn't quite get man of the match, but he does get an 8.2 rating and Lionel Messi gets a 6.7. Ronaldo definitely a better player, but we'll see how much better he is in 2010. Let's keep simulating. It's Ballon d'Or time. Messi's obviously not here. Shevchenko, R9, Henri and Freddy Jumberg all nominated. No Messi quite yet. And honestly, no Ronaldo is a bit surprising. I did make him an attacker just so he does get nominated for the Ballon d'Or a bit more often like he should, but he's still not there. No Ronaldo, Ronaldo. It's just R9 at the moment. And Ballon d'Or is Thierry Henry from Arsenal. Interesting. Also, no Ronaldinho nominated, which is quite surprising. Normally, he dominates this Ballon d'Or, but fair enough. If Messi's got talent from overseas as well as his own teammates to deal with, then I suppose that just makes it more difficult for him. So to put it in summary, Lionel Messi has to beat overseas talent in Thierry Henry, his own teammates in like Ronaldinho, Real Madrid in winning 
stuff because they did a quadruple last season and Cristiano Ronaldo himself as they jaw for who's the GOAT. In real life, we all have our own opinions, but in this simulation, I think Messi wants to make it clear cut, as does Ronaldo, who is currently winning. Messi's not gone up four this year, he's gone up three. However, statistically, he's also taken a dip. Ronaldinho with a stupidly good season, but Messi not so much. Second top goal scorer, granted, and second top assist, but statistically, I thought he could do a bit better. However, they did get one over Real Madrid and won La Liga, but Real Madrid won the Copa de España and the Super Cup. And in the Champions League semi-final, they lost to Arsenal again, always so close, but never quite making the final. Ronaldinho with the top scorer in La Liga, 36 and 34 is stupid. And Messi is not even on the list. Just a peek at the Ballon d'Or again. I suppose Messi's probably not going to be nominated. Ronaldinho's back there as well as Robin, Eto'o and Ibrahimovic. No Messi quite just yet and no Ronaldo either. And it's going to be Ronaldinho. The domination of world football continues. And Barcelona have the Europa League theming. At this point, it's called the UEFA Cup. They have Villarreal, but they're currently third in La Liga. Real Madrid has practically already won it and they won the Super Cup. Messi's up again, but only a plus two to an 89 overall. Here he is, 17 and eight is not incredible. Third top scorer on the team, second top assister, but come on. He was the 16th top scorer in La Liga and a guy called Tortolero scored more than him. Can they win in the Super Cup? No, and they're not winning La Liga. They lost in El Clasico and Real Madrid won the title. No trophies for Barcelona in this season. Messi's not looking incredible, to be honest. I thought he'd be better at this point. 89 overall is still really good, but I don't know. I just expected a bit more. Van Nistel, Rui Rooney, R9 and Henri. No Cristiano Ronaldo, but obviously no Lionel Messi, the main focus of today's video. And Ruud van Nistelrooy ends up winning it. Really waiting for Messi to have that insane season where he just kicks on and gets like 50 goals in 50 games. Also, we have the World Cup at the end of next year, which is great. Hopefully Messi can get his revenge on Ronaldo. Maybe go a little bit further than just the group stage. Messi's up two overall again. He's up to in 91. 13 and six though. 19 contributions in 47 games. is not amazing. No wonder he's not getting nominated for the Ballon d'Or. And in the Barcelona versus Real Madrid battle, Barcelona do lead La Liga. Nothing in the Champions League, three English clubs and zero Spanish clubs. And in the La Liga scoring race, Ronaldo and Ronaldinho top it and Lionel Messi is... Nowhere to be found. 91 overall, six goals in La Liga. That is abysmal. I'm certainly surprised by how poorly Lionel Messi's been. I mean, his rating is steadily climbing as it should be, but overall, I feel like he should be winning more Ballon d'Ors. 2008 was the first year that one of Messi or Ronaldo won the Ballon d'Or in Cristiano Ronaldo, but neither of them got even nominated this year. 2009 will be Messi's first Ballon d'Or in real life. Let's see if he can at least get nominated. Oh baby, it's 2009. Ronaldinho, Eto'o and Messi. There we go. Finally, we have him nominated alongside Iron Robin as well. Bit of a weird one. Is it going to be Ronaldinho, the Ballon d'Or mainstay, or is it going to be Lionel Messi, the first timer? Messi has a long way to go and a lot of enemies to defeat. However, he does not get past Ronaldinho. He stays as the Ballon d'Or winner. Lionel Messi has to try again next year. Messi's potential is 95. However, he's only got a plus one this year. 18 and 13, 31 contributions in 44 games is a bit better. All 18 in La Liga as well. No goals in the Champions League or any cup competitions. And they're winning the fight against Real Madrid again. Six points clear with four games to go. They win the Super Cup. Nothing in the Copa de España though. They beat Real Madrid as well last Sunday. And there you go. Seven points clear with a game to go. Barcelona do win La Liga. In terms of top goal scorers, Messi is actually climbing the ladder. Although 17 people scored more than 20 goals this year. Lionel Messi 16th of the bunch. Not too bad. Paolo Wanchop did finish above him though. But since it is 2010, it's a World Cup year. Lionel Messi has a bit of redemption, I think. And this time around the Argentina squad looks like this. Lionel Messi is the best player on this Argentina team. Carlos Tevez up to a 91, Mascherano up to an 89, Colaccini who should be starting instead of Heinz. It's a very strong Argentina team and I think they can go far. This is their group as well. They have Sweden, Ghana and Scotland. Not the strongest group at all so they could definitely get out. Ghana is a draw, Scotland is a loss and Sweden is the last game. I'm not going to simulate it quite yet but World Cup woes for Argentina. They need a win. If they don't win they are out against Sweden who have already got a win. It's Argentina versus a decently strong Sweden side. 4-0 dominant display. Messi with a goal, Tevez with two. Argentina absolutely wiped the floor with Sweden and progress. And they're around to 16 times against Uruguay. That's a big one. Luis Suarez versus Lionel Messi. And Messi comes out on top. Tevez and Maxi Rodriguez get the goals. And in the quarterfinals, Argentina have... 
France. Oh, wow, that's very strong. Thierry Henry, who won the Ballon d'Or. Lionel Messi has not yet. Who's going to win? A very strong France team versus Messi's Argentina. It's Argentina. Messi with a brace and a late goal to send them through. Henry thought he tied it up at 80 minutes. Lionel Messi, 84th minute. Argentina are in a World Cup semi-final. And they have Portugal to play against. Ireland just lost. No. And it would be absolutely disgusting of me to not watch this. It's Ronaldo versus Messi once again. And La Bomba Bonera plays host to Argentina and Portugal once again. Don't ask me why. It's 2010, four years down the line. Lionel Messi is up for Ballon d'Ors. Cristiano Ronaldo, I'm sure, will be as well. Argentina are going to try and do it where they failed before. It's the World Cup semi-final. Brazil and Croatia in the other semi, but we don't care about that right now. It's Messi versus Ronaldo, part two. And here we go. Portugal with the first chance of the game. It's Leidson to Deco. To Deco! Good save. João Moutinho out on the right. Portugal have something brewing here. Brilliant ball. Ronaldo, brilliant pass. Liedson 1-0. Just like that. Portugal take the lead once again. Argentina need to bounce back or Portugal are going to go two from two. They knocked them out last time. Are they going to knock them out again? That is some ball patch. Brilliant play from Mascherano. Cambiasso. Brilliant. Tevez. Good shot. Good save. Brilliant play. Messi. Good save. Messi once again picks it up. Goal. Just like that, Portugal make a terrible mistake. And Lionel Messi pounces. It's one all. Portugal with a horrible mistake. What are they doing? And it's half time. Brilliant to Mascherano, to Cambiasso, to Messi, to Tevez. Good save. Rodriguez to Messi. Messi's through on goal. It's Messi. Messi! What a finish. 2-1 to Argentina. World Cup semi-final. The biggest game of Messi's career. And he buries the chance. Argentina could be going to a World Cup final. Argentina could fix the woes of 2006. And it's a race for their star boy Lionel Messi 2010 he's still very very young and here comes Messi again brilliant football skips past Cambiasso Tevez 3-1 what a goal brilliant play Argentina have fixed the problems there's still a little bit of time for Portugal but I'm afraid it's going to be too little too late Ronaldo out on the wing can he get anything going I don't think so that's it it's game over Ronaldo loses falls short but Lionel Messi the main focus of today's video progresses to the World Cup final after being thoroughly embarrassed in 2006. 2010 is their year. They're going to the final. Who are they going to play? It's going to be Croatia in the World Cup final. It's World Cup final time. We're back in the Bombonera again. Trials and tribulations have led us here. We're in Argentina for the World Cup final. It's Messi versus Croatia of all teams. Croatia definitely underdogs. I did not expect them to get this far, but it may be Argentina's time. Here's the World Cup tree. Argentina in the World Cup final. 2010 was in South Africa, but for some reason we're in Argentina. Messi won it in 2022. Can he do it 12 years early and stake his claim as football's greatest player? Let's find out. Serena into Petric. Big chance. 1-0. Argentina falls short straight away. And Petric with the opening goal of the World Cup final. Argentina behind. Messi behind. In the game of all games, they have an uphill battle. Croatia, the complete underdogs. This could be like a Greece 2004 story. Great ball to Lionel Messi. Big chance. Argentina. Oh, Cambiasso of all people. Mascherano to Tevez to Lopez into Tevez with a chance goal one all equalizer what a pass from Messi brilliant finish from Tevez we're all square in the World Cup final just before the halftime break and Carlos Tevez the World Cup final hero currently in Argentina it's one all and it's halftime Argentina with another chance Maxi Rodriguez into Lionel Messi big chance saved he's not offside either Lionel Messi misses a massive opportunity Croatia playing a very high press but Argentina have the patience and the awareness to get out of it and here they come brilliant ball into Lionel Messi Lionel Messi Maxi Rodriguez down the wing. Maxi, what a finish. Storming finish from Maxi Rodriguez. And it's 2-1 to Argentina. Huge. Messi instrumental once again. Didn't score the goal himself, but he was instrumental in the play. And in the World Cup final, Maxi Rodriguez puts Argentina ahead. Keeper shouldn't be letting that in at his near post, but Maxi Rodriguez buries it into Messi. It's Messi. Sets back Mascherano for some reason. Brilliant pass. Lopez. What's he doing? What a save. This is so intense. I'm so invested. Great ball into Tevez. Missed it. Cranchar number one comes onto the pitch. Brilliant ball into Cranchar. Surely not blocked. And again, oh my God. Shaky times for the Argentine defense. It's 2-1. This lead is very fickle, but here they come. Lopez, Cambiasso, brilliant play. Messi, big chance. What a finish. 3-1 to Argentina. Lionel Messi with the final goal. And that 
could be it. 2010 Argentina are the World Cup champions. Lionel Messi with an absolutely incredible finish. And Croatia have been sunk. They've done so well to get this far, but Argentina are just too much for them. Lionel Messi with a thunderous strike. Croatia are trying to attack, but I'm afraid it's too little too late. And that's it. The game's over. Argentina at home are the World Cup champions. And Lionel Messi, their superstar, their Ballon d'Or nominee, guides them there. Two assists and a goal. They win 3-1. They conceded first, but they bounced back strongly. D'Alessandro lifts the World Cup. Argentina are the world champions. The greatest moment in Argentine football history. Lionel Messi wins the World Cup at 23 years old. Vital in the final. Probably the man of the match, to be honest. And the celebrations can continue. Argentina, incredible. They defeated Portugal on their way here. I did not expect them to get this far. But after all of their work, Lionel Messi is a world champion. But he still hasn't won a Ballon d'Or. He still hasn't won a Champions League. He has a long way to to go before cementing his status as the greatest on the planet. But damn, does this help. 2010 world champion. And after World Cup triumph, no surprise, Messi's nominated for the Ballon d'Or alongside Samuel Eto'o and Ronaldinho. Is this going to be the year that he topples his teammate? Yes, it is. Lionel Messi, World Cup champion, Ballon d'Or winner. It's 2010. He's 23 years old, but he's done more or less everything in world football apart from win the Champions League. Lionel Messi, 94 overall, now better than Ronaldinho in rating 22 and 9 so 39 games 31 goal contributions is decent until you look at Ronaldinho 60 what he has 48 in La Liga that man is a joke how did he not win the Ballon d'Or unsurprisingly Barcelona win La Liga and in the Champions League Benfica make it to the final but Barcelona don't even make it out of their group they finish last 19 goals in La Liga not bad but when you have Ronaldinho scoring that many goals I suppose you don't really need to be the best player of all time to win La Liga player of the year for 2011 Messi is nominated and Ronaldo Ronaldo is nowhere to be seen. Ronaldinho on Rian Van Persie. Was Messi's Ballon d'Or a one-time thing or is he going to go back to back? No surprise, he goes back to back. We could be in a bit of an era of dominance here. And Lionel Messi has maxed out. 95 overall, 25 and 7, pretty good. Ronaldinho absolutely destroyed him. But Messi won the Ballon d'Or anyway, don't ask me why. Barcelona win La Liga. No Supercopa, no Copa de España. No Champions League final. They had an El Clasico semi-final and lost Real Madrid versus AC Milan in the final. They've lost in the semi-final of the Champions League three separate times now. This is devastating for Lionel Messi. Obviously, Ronaldinho top scorer of the league once again. Lionel Messi in 12th. So he's getting better, tied with Eto. Barcelona have also made some signings. Chivu in midfield, Vincent Company, Chiellini plays here. Balak on the bench as well. Steven Ireland is here for some reason. Kazuki Honda is here. Landro, who kind of looks like Ben Foster. It's a really good Barcelona team, but they haven't been doing great in the Champions League. And Real Madrid have been killing it. So hopefully maybe they can swap places. Real Madrid win a couple of La Ligas and Barcelona win a couple of Champions Leagues. That would be nice. But before that, we have one El Clasico to go. Is it going to be Messi or is it going to be Michael Owen? It's going to be Michael Owen. He gets taken off in the first half, but it doesn't matter. Gattuso with the goal in the first minute. The worst El Clasico ever. Time for the 2012 Ballon d'Or. Lionel Messi is now at his peak almost. He's 24. And he is, of course, nominated for the Ballon d'Or alongside both teammates Eto and Ronaldinho, as well as Ibrahimovic. And can Lionel Messi do it again? Yes, he can. Lionel Messi, Ballon d'Or winner once again. But remember, one trophy has eluded him in his entire career. The Champions League. He's got to three or four semi-finals, something like that. And he's lost every single one of them. One even against Real Madrid, bitter rivals, of course. And here's Messi, 26 and 15 is very, very good. But Ronaldinho takes a big steamy dump on him once again. Although Messi is the highest rated player in the world. So there is that. They are top of the Liga tied with Villarreal though. They won the Super Cup. No Copa de España again. No Champions League final either. It's Ajax and Juventus. They went out to Bayern Munich in the round of 16. And so here we go. The three biggest games of the La Liga season. They get a win against Atletico Madrid. They draw against Racing Santander and they're still tied. Okay, so if they win this game, they win the title on goal difference. It's Barcelona versus Valencia for the La Liga title. That's a draw. David Silva in the last minute. No way. Oh, they win it anyway. Villarreal drew. Yeah, Villarreal drew with Mallorca. So Barcelona do win La Liga. Oh my God. Felt like they're almost trying to give it away. Ronaldinho top scorer. Eto right behind him. Michael Owen with 34. That's crazy. And Lionel Messi, the Ballon d'Or winner, is 20th in the league with 19 goals. And what? Messi's won what? Three or four Ballon d'Ors up to this point. He's up again for a fifth. It's the three Barcelona players again and Iron Robin. It feels like it's those three guys and either 
a Robin or Ibrahimovic every single time. But I think Messi's going to win it again, even though Ronaldinho's stats are so much better. Is Messi going to prove once again that stats mean absolutely nothing? Yes, he is. He wins the Ballon d'Or. No Ronaldo to be seen at all either. And he is a left winger. I made him an attacker. I don't know why he's not getting nominated. He's just not. Back at Barcelona, Ronaldinho's still here. Eto's still here. And Messi is too. 19 and 6 though. Not incredible. Ballon d'Or winner though, so who really cares? Ronaldinho carrying the load as well. Eto right up there with him. Messi fourth in assists and third in goals scored. 27 years old. Ronaldinho still here. Great to see, to be honest. But they're struggling in La Liga third. Real Madrid top it. But they do win the Copa de España as well. Finally, they win their Copa de España against their city rivals. No Champions League though again. Round of 16 to Chelsea. They're doing so poorly. And in La Liga, Michael Owen tops the scoring charts. Ronaldinho loses his spot at the top. And Lionel Messi is nowhere to be found at all on the scoring charts. But before Real Madrid win the league, they have to get through Barcelona. One of the last games of the La Liga season. Can Barcelona pull through? Oh, they can. They beat Real Madrid. Eto with a brace and Van der Vaart with the winner in the 72nd minute. They might actually have a chance at the title here. They're four points behind with two games to go. Theoretically, they could win the title. I don't think they will, though. They beat Betis. World Cup submission for Argentina. Here we go. And can they beat La Coruña on the last day? They get a result against La Coruña as well. Is it enough? Oh, it's not. They finished third. Villarreal win the league instead. What a shame. But it is World Cup year. We have Belgium, Colombia, and Greece. Pretty easy group, to be honest. Belgium will be good, but we should get through. And here we go. Colombia first game is a win. Greece second game is a win. 5-1 dominant display. And we have Belgium last... And we lose. It doesn't matter though. We have six points. We should be through. And we top our group anyway. Belgium go out and Greece come through. And in the round of 16, we have Croatia, a repeat of the World Cup final. Can Messi and Argentina get a result? Yes, they can. A 4-1 win. Carlos Tevez with two. Di Maria and Gomez all score. Remember, in 2014, in real life, Argentina made the final and lost. This time we have Netherlands in the quarterfinals instead of the semifinals in real life. Huge game. Netherlands versus Argentina. 3-2 Netherlands. Oh, unfortunate. Argentina a crash out in the quarterfinals. However, they won it in 2010, so you can't ask too much of them. Going back to back is incredible. England go through, Uruguay do, and Spain do as well. And Spain won the World Cup over England in the final, just like the women's final, actually. And Netherlands finished fourth. Good for them. But since the World Cup's done, we're going to resign for the national team and sim to the Ballon d'Or and see if Messi can win, like, what, five in a row? Is Messi nominated? No, he's not. Oh my god. Muller, Rooney, Robin, and Van Persie. Three Premier League players and Thomas Muller. But no Lionel Messi at all. Oh, that is fascinating. I suppose in the World Cup year, but Spain did win the World Cup, so they have no nominees either. Messi falls short of even a nomination, and Wayne Rooney wins himself a Ballon d'Or at 29. What a monster of a player. No Ronaldo nominated, but more importantly, where the hell is Messi? Oh, Champions League animation for Barcelona, finally. They're not doing too great in La Liga. Well, they are second, four points off, but they're not top. But it doesn't really matter because, well, they won the Super Cup. They're not in the final of the Copa de España. But if we go to the Champions League, it's Bayern Munich versus Barcelona, and we're up on aggregate. And even though they weren't nominated for Ballon d'Ors, our front three is still intact. Messi, Eto, Ronaldinho. Funny enough, Steven Ireland could actually start here. It's the same rating as Fisher. We're 2-1 up on aggregate. Thomas Muller, the Ballon d'Or nominee, is playing for Bayern Munich. Messi, Eto, Ronaldinho. Can they get to the final? Oh my god, they got bodied. Benny scores first. Van der Vaart then Muller to take it to extra time. And then Benny and Feinsteiger both score. Barcelona get destroyed in the Champions League semi-final and they fall short once again. Again. Lionel Messi, where is his Champions League trophy? They come up completely empty handed this year. Zero trophies for Barcelona with that team is absurd. Here's the highest rated players. Chiellini has stayed here for his whole career, which is funny. Colo Torres here as well. Steven Ireland still here, just being himself. And statistically, Lionel Messi with 25 and 11. Ronaldinho once again carrying the majority of the load. Eto up there as well. Messi's third top goal scorer and third in assists. I think the Ballon d'Or voters have kind of gone off Barcelona players. Messi is sixth in the total voting. Is that Joey Barr? Martin at 15th with Espanyol. That's amazing. Sergio Busquets scores 13 goals of his own, but Barcelona falls short on every single front. And here's the previously stated problem. Messi is worth 60 million in market value, which I know it doesn't sound like that much in today's football, but in this save of FIFA, 60 million is like more than anyone can afford. Like Barcelona's entire transfer budget is like 42 million. So they're not even close to Messi's value. They'd probably ask like 75 mil for Messi. Nobody would be able to afford that. So he's probably not going to move anywhere. Is Messi going to be nominated again? He is with Benzema, Van 
Percy and Robin. So two of the same nominees from last year and two changed. Funnily enough, the winner from last year, Wayne Rooney, is no longer nominated. But can Messi win himself another Ballon d'Or? No, he can't. Iron Robin picks up the Ballon d'Or. That's interesting. And I say that's interesting because normally he's nominated but never wins it. Normally he's just like the third or fourth guy, like an afterthought. But he must have had an incredible season. To be fair, Messi's normally second or third string on his team. So I'm surprised he's even getting nominated ahead of Ronaldinho or Eto'o. Back at Barcelona, Lionel Messi is still 95 overall, 29 years old now, so basically as good as he ever is going to get. 26 and 8. Pretty decent, but Eto'o beats him out and Ronaldinho beats him out once again, even though Ronaldinho is like 10 overalls worse than him. In the standings, they are second Villarreal ahead of them. Real Madrid probably will not catch them, so it's a two-horse race. And they win the Super Cup and they lose the Copa de España final. It was an El Clasico and Real Madrid won it. In the Champions League, it's Real Madrid versus Man United. Barcelona lose in the semi final again. Top scores wise, Messi is tied with Ronaldinho with 22 goals, which is one of his best goal scoring seasons, I think. With regards to Messi's teammate, Steven Ireland is still here and starting. Pedro hasn't moved away. Bojan is here, 80 overall. He's been here for the entire thing. Juan Mata is here as well. Good transfer. They draw against Real Madrid, not Baz. They get a win against Guion. And they're tied top of the league with Villarreal. Oh my God. Whoever wins this game wins La Liga. I have to watch this. And in La Liga, it's a beautiful evening, but it all comes down to this. Our two teams are tied on points at the top of the La Liga standings. Whoever wins this game wins the title. Simple as that. If it's a draw, it's Barcelona's. Nemanja Vidic is the captain of Villarreal leading them out as well. Courtois is there as well, but this Barcelona team is incredibly strong. Multiple time Ballon d'Or winner Lionel Messi, as well as multiple time Ballon d'Or winner Ronaldinho. Multiple nominee Samuel Eto'o is there as well. We've got Busquets. We've got Xavi, I think. We've got Bojan. No, we don't. We have Steven Ireland though, so we're going to win. And Villarreal come knocking straight away. Here's Diego to Sanli. Sanli with the shot. Good save. Great start to this match. And a brilliant save from Victor Valdez in goals. Ball into the box. Sanli wins the header. Picked off again. Villarreal have started this game red hot. Steven Ireland with a great run into Messi. Into Eto. I can't wait to see this front three play. Lionel Messi tackled. Can he slip through Rodriguez? Here we go. Big chance. Villarreal off the bat. Shot goal. One deal to Villarreal and the title decider. It's Rodriguez with the finish. And all of a sudden, Barcelona have their backs up against the wall. There's no doubting that Barcelona have the quality, but today of all days, they need to show it. Great ball into Samuel Eto'o. What can Barcelona find here? Ireland into Eto'o. Eto'o around the outside. Busquets. Van der Vaart. Eto'o. Ireland goal! one all. What a finish. Steven Ireland of all people, but an Irish representation for Barcelona. The bald Messi scores. And it's one all in the title decider. Brilliant passing move. The tiki-taka before it was even a thing. And Barcelona square up the game. Brilliant football from Villarreal. They're not going to score again. Brilliant tackle. Terrible giveaway and it's a goal. That is a horrible defensive mistake. Giorgio Chiellini, the highest rated defender in the world, I believe at this point, with the worst mistake of his career, most likely. And Villarreal get ahead once again. That is an absolute shocker. Oh! Chiellini with a horror pass and all of a sudden, Barcelona's hard work is undone. And there he is, Lionel Messi lining up for the corner. The man who hasn't really done anything in this game, to be honest. Carlos Puyol hanging up the boot. Since Carlos Puyol is retiring, this is his last chance to win a La Liga. Send him off into the sunset with another La Liga title. Let's see if the boys can pull through for him. Terrible pass from Messi. And it's half time. Barcelona are behind. Villarreal definitely dominant. Had the best of the chances and it's 2-1 to the yellow submarine. Yes, that's actually what they're called. I'm not joking. Brilliant ball over to Lionel Messi. What can he find? Cuts inside. Messi. 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 What a goal. Lionel Messi with a brilliant finish and it's 2 all. At this current result, Barcelona do win the title on goal difference. However, as we've seen before, it is not concrete. They are shaky at the back. But with finishes like that, you expect no less. What a finish from Lionel Messi. Similar to his goal in the World Cup final against Croatia, it's 2 all. Messi has done nothing all game, but finally, when the chips are down, he's there to finish it off. To Ronaldinho, to Ireland, blocked. It's oh, not quite. Colo Torre is also considering retirement. There you go. Technically, in this simulation, a Barcelona club legend. But can Villarreal spoil the retirement party? Cadlec into Rodriguez. Here we go. Massive chance. Goal. Surely not again. Villarreal score. And Barcelona have to make up goals once again. Messi, Ronaldinho, Eto have to claw this back because at the back they are atrocious. So much space through the middle. Look at that. And here come Villarreal walking through the middle again. They're through on goal. Surely not four. It's Rodriguez 
it's Rodriguez. It's four. It's four for Villarreal. Barcelona defending horribly. Villarreal taking advantage, and I don't blame them. This is atrocious defending from the two retirees, Colo Torre and Carlos Puyol. And don't forget about Giorgio Chiellini either. Where is he in all of this? And here comes Steven Ireland. Barcelona need two goals to save their La Liga title. Eto to Busquets of all people. There's one. Four, three. What's going on? I've never watched a game like this in my life. It's four, three to Villarreal. Barcelona are still in this. But they're so wide open at the back. Just picked off by Puyol there. And here they come. This might be their final opportunity. It's Lionel Messi. It's Messi still going. It's Messi onto Van der Vaart. Into the box. It's cleared. Are they going to win it? That's it. It's over. It's over. Villarreal win. That was Ted's. Villarreal are the La Liga champions. Barcelona fall short. Messi falls short. Chiellini was atrocious. Puyol and Colatore were atrocious. And the pair of them are retiring. Unfortunately, no trophy to end off their campaign. But Villarreal are the La Liga champions. And I'm not joking when I tell you that was one of the most insane games of FIFA I have ever watched. I was genuinely convinced that Barcelona were going to score fourth. I don't know how they were so open at the back, though. They need to sign some better defenders than Puyol and Torre. And Chiellini as well with a terrible mistake. If he didn't do that, then it would have finished 3 all, And Barcelona would have won the title. Benzema, Rooney, and Adriano is in there. Wow, in 2016, Adriano gets nominated for a Ballon d'Or. Interesting. And is it going to be Messi? It is not. Karim Benzema in 2016 wins himself a Ballon d'Or. And Lionel Messi is now 30 years old. 26 and 7, still pretty good, but Ronaldinho still beat him out. And Eto did in total stats. So, yeah, not a particularly amazing. How did they do in the standings? They're second. Real Madrid just ahead of them. So we are going to watch out the rest of this La Liga season. They lost in the Super Cup to Villarreal. No Copa de España. Obviously no Super Cup and no Champions League. Is Real Madrid again in the final? Barcelona didn't even make it out of the group. They're in the Europa League. They got bounced in the preliminary round by Standard Liège. Oh my God. This team is so bad in Europe for some reason. Messi hasn't even won a Champions League trophy. That's incredible. Top scorer is Diaby with 41 goals in Real Madrid. Ronaldinho came fifth and Messi came eighth with 22. And Barcelona won all four games. So yeah, they won La Liga. Ballon d'Or nominees. Yeah, he's there as well as Adebayor. Brilliant. Adriano again and Samuel Eto'o. So no Ronaldinho, but Eto'o and Messi are there. But to be honest, I'd rather it was Adebayor than Messi just because it would be funny. Come on, do God's work. Ah, it's Messi. Okay, fair. That's what, five Ballon d'Ors for Messi? And the ultimate prize, the World Cup, is once again taking place this summer. But Messi's already won the World Cup. He's just never won the Champions League, which is unbelievable considering the strength of Barcelona during this era. And in the La Liga standings, Barcelona are 21 points clear. Dominant display. And they don't win the Copa de España. They've only won it one time, which is just ridiculous. Real Madrid are in the Champions League final again. Barcelona are nowhere to be found. Third, great. They're in the Europa League. Oh, they're in the final of that at least. Thank God. They'll probably lose it though. Messi still 95 overall, 24 and 9. It's just like Ronaldinho stats are just so much better, even though he's 81 rated. 14 ratings lower. If Messi was 80 overall, Ronaldinho would be 66 rated and he'd be putting up better stats. So that's crazy. Eto with a great season as well. Maybe we just need to wait for Messi to get older. Maybe then he'll just put up crazy stats. In terms of top score, Ronaldinho, of course it was. And Lionel Messi is... Lionel Messi is nowhere to be found. Top 25 scores in La Liga. He scored 15. Yeah, he's not even on the list. That's crazy. We do have an El Clasico to go, but we don't really care to be honest because the league is all wrapped up. They beat Real Madrid. They had Blackburn in the semi-finals of the Europa League. That's a lucky tie. They've gone completely flawless this month. 100% record. And they have Chelsea in the final. I'm not even going to watch it. Robin Ballon d'Or winner versus Messi Ballon d'Or winner. It's on penalty. Steven Ireland. Messi. Pedro Baron and Fisher all score. Barcelona beat Chelsea on penalties. This theming is kind of weird, but I kind of like it though. Robin in Ireland and then Fisher in extra time. Novak ties it all up. Wow, what a game. Barcelona finally wins some European silverware. But don't forget, it's the World Cup this year. We have Romania, Ukraine, and Poland. That's not bad at all. Romania is a win against Ukraine. It's a win again. Tevez and Messi with the goals. And we have Poland in the last group game. We've already won two, so we should be through already. Can we get a result against Poland? Poland, we draw, but it's enough. We have Uruguay now in the round of 16. Tough tie. Can Messi do it against Luis Suarez, Edison Cavani, and everyone else? No, they can't. Round of 16 exit for Argentina. This time, Cavani and Ojeda with the goals. Mascherano levels it up, but it's not enough. Argentina go out very early in the competition. And Ireland beat England. Great. We can hold that over them forever. And Ronaldinho is gone. Salihovic is here instead. I think Pedro should be starting, to be honest. Sami Khedira is also here. Lionel Messi still 95 overall at 32 years old. And Javi is just nowhere to be found. I think he's probably retired. Andres Iniesta, on the other hand, plays for Liverpool FC for some reason. But Messi is still here and the best player on the team. He got 22-4 and four this season, so with Ronaldinho gone, Juan Mata picked up the mantle. Not Messi, Juan Mata.
matter. They also finished first in La Liga by eight points. So they've basically won La Liga. No Supercopa or Copa de España. They lose the Super Cup final to Real Madrid and they lost in the quarterfinals of the Champions League to Liverpool. So Andres Iniesta knocks out Barcelona. Top scorer in La Liga this year was Diaby again for Real Madrid. Mata second and Messi seventh. And in the search for the best player in the world, is Messi nominated? Yes, right down the end alongside Muller, Robert and Cardoso. I believe Cardoso is an auto-generated player. So the fight against AI begins. Surprised that Diaby guy from Real Madrid hasn't won any Ballon d'Or since he's been top scorer of La Liga for like three years in a row. And the winner of the Ballon d'Or is Messi. We hold out against AI once again. 32-95 overall and the Ballon d'Or winner. We still have a whole other World Cup to go. Messi still needs to win himself a Champions League and we still need to actually get some good stats on Messi because his stats have been great but they haven't been like Ronaldinho level. Nowhere near. Okay, we've hit the end of 2020. Ballon d'Or winner Messi. 95 overall. 30 and 13. Not bad at all. Top goal scorer at the club. Him and Pedro up there and top assist for Pedro as well. Great season for him. In La Liga, they are currently top but they're not safe at all. Valencia are right on their tails. Real Madrid win the Supercopa but Barcelona win the Copa de España. Finally, there's another one for them. Champions League is Real Madrid again. No Barcelona to be seen. They lose to FCSM. I'm not quite sure who they are actually. And with regards to player stats, Messi's second top scorer. Griezmann top scorer but Messi is currently top of La Liga. Can he close it out? A win against Real Sociedad but they do have Valencia to play who are second place. Four points in it. If Barcelona win in this match, they will win La Liga. Can they do it? Yes, they do. Baron with the goal. Andrande and Eto also score. Barcelona win La Liga in 2020. But again, they fall short in the Champions League. At this point, the Ballon d'Or doesn't really matter because Messi's won it so many times. But can he maintain his chokehold? He is nominated as well as Cardoso, Diaby from Real Madrid, who we were talking about, and Pedro as well. Pedro up for a Ballon d'Or. That's interesting. Are we going to hold off computers for another year? Yes, we are. Lionel Messi wins the Ballon d'Or. And we're here again. Messi has regressed. He's gone down to 92 overall. 34 years old. 26 and six. Pedro with a better statistical season. Don't think he's ever been the best statistically at Barcelona and if he has it hasn't been by much. 17 goals in La Liga as well is decent I suppose but not great. However they're currently top of La Liga. Real Madrid six points behind so they should have it wrapped up. They also win the Supercopa. No Copa de España though. In the Champions League they are there but they're out. Villarreal have beaten them over two legs. That's four Champions League finals that they've lost in the semi-finals of now. Absolutely dreadful. Lionel Messi just being himself losing games in the Champions League. This is not particularly good. He has not had as good a career as in real life, even though he's won so many Ballon d'Ors. Top scorer, Luis Adriano. Lionel Messi, the whole way down in 18th for Barcelona. David Silva also up there as the second top scorer, which is interesting. Samuel Eto'o is still here just being himself, playing the game of football. But people are getting old, okay? Only a couple of years left, but Barcelona do indeed win La Liga. Yeah, there we go. They've won La Liga. Messi has two years left to win the Champions League. The 2022 Champions League and the 2023 Champions League. And after that, that's it. We're up to modern day. Messi is running out of time to win the Champions League. He's only got a couple years left of his prime and after that, I mean, God knows where he'll go, but really, the next two years are vital. Because if he wins it in like 2026, he'll probably just be on the bench and that's pretty boring, okay? That doesn't really count. He wants to win one while he's at the peak of his powers and while he is over the hump at the moment, he's still incredible. And is he still nominated for the Ballon d'Or? Yes, he is. Diaby, Cardoso, Muller and Messi. Two auto-generated players, two non-auto-generated players. Is it going to be Thomas Muller winning the Ballon d'Or or is it going to be Messi again? I think if Messi wins this, it would be his ninth Ballon on door or something like that? I'm not certain though. Who is it going to be? Is it going to be Messi? Yes, it is. Lionel Messi wins another Ballon d'Or. Nine Ballon d'Ors, but zero Champions Leagues. And this is not what I want to see. It's the Europa League theming for Barcelona. They've won La Liga by a landslide, 17 points. But if we go to the Europa League, they're here in the semi-final against Real Madrid. Oh my God. An El Clasico semi-final. Okay, maybe this isn't so bad after all. Real Madrid are 2-1 up on aggregate, but can Barcelona claw it back and win an El Clasico? Oh, they do. Oh my god, I thought they lost. Why did I think they lost? Messi with a brace and Barcelona are in the Europa League final. And they have Sevilla to play against. Honestly, I do not care if it's not the Champions League. The fact that they're in the Europa League means they came third in their group. It's Sevilla, the Europa League merchants versus Barcelona. And it's Sevilla brilliant. But they have already won the Europa League and they have qualified for the Champions League next year. So who really cares? But you thought we were done. Oh wait, it's World Cup time. That's right. Our group is Poland, Colombia and Greece. The exact same as in 2018 for some reason. I don't know if that's coincidence or if that's just a thing in FIFA. But let's waste no time and play through these games. Colombia is a win. Greece is a win. Poland is a draw. Seven points from nine were through. Also remember, this was the World Cup that Messi did actually win in real life. So let's see if he can replicate it in FIFA. And we have the Czech Republic 
Oh, wow. I think there's about three or four surnames in that entire Czech Republic team, but let's see if we can beat them anyway. Argentina versus the Czech Republic, and we get a result. 2-1 win. Gomez with a goal, Ferreira with a goal. It's enough. Messi progresses to the quarterfinals. Against Spain. Oh, that's interesting. It's Lionel Messi versus a lot of his teammates. Actually, he's not on the Argentine team. Wait, where's Messi? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This guy just won a Ballon d'Or. He's not here. I just assumed he was on the team because it's Messi, but he's not here. For reference as well, I don't pick the squad. The squad picks itself. Obviously, if I was choosing, I'd have Messi here, but he's not. All right, so why am I even here? I hope they lose. Ugh. And they're in the semi-final against Croatia, but they have no Messi, so I hope they lose. Come on, lose. Oh my God, they're in the final. I'm going to be so annoyed if Argentina win. Yes, Germany won. Let's go. That's what you get for not picking Messi. And is he still here? Yes, he is. Oh my God. Messi's nominated for Ballon d'Or as well as Aguero, but I'm not sure. Is that actually Aguero? Yeah, it is actually Aguero. Real Aguero, real Messi, real Rooney, and then that Yesen guy. I don't know who that is. Wayne Rooney. Okay, so a second Ballon d'Or for Wayne Rooney and not for Messi. Doesn't get into double digits. Or maybe he does. I don't know. I lost count. And Messi is no longer the highest rated player at the club. Instead, it's this goalkeeper, Bataglia. Messi, 88 overall, 24 and 9. Not particularly particularly great 35 goals for Pedro Messi with the third most assists second most goal 22 in La Liga is not bad though once again topping La Liga they just own this league now and they win the Supercopa but let me guess yeah no Copa de España they get knocked out by Real Betis and no Champions League it's Feyenoord versus Sociedad Barcelona got knocked out in the round of 16 by FC Copenhagen 6-0 on aggregate oh this is so bleak let's just keep simulating though for Messi is Messi nominated for the Ballon d'Or I have a funny feeling he won't be oh he is wow Diaby Parry Messi and Gray Gregory. So three random dudes and Lionel Messi. However, Messi did not win the Ballon d'Or last year. And I have a funny feeling that AI may take over this time around. Is it going to be Messi? No, it's not. It's Dauda Diaby. Apparently, that's his name. 26 years old. He's the guy from Real Madrid that's scoring all the goals. And he's the man that just won the Ballon d'Or. Lionel Messi's reign in the Ballon d'Or race is probably over. No Champions League theme for Barcelona, but Messi's still going. 85 overall. We have to scroll down a bit to get to him. 37 years old. 26 and 14. 40 from 46. So statistically, one of his best seasons. Top goals and assist for Messi. But no Ballon d'Or to show for it, unfortunately. Their dominance of La Liga has kind of come to an end. Villarreal dominate. 18 points clear. No Supercopa, no Copa de España. Champions League is Marseille versus Atalanta. Real Madrid make the semis. Barcelona get knocked out by Atalanta. With regards to player stats, top scorer is not Lionel Messi. It's Colombo. Colombo gets 10 more goals than Messi in La Liga. That's nuts. So at this point, as Messi's career starts to wind down, you might find he transfers somewhere because obviously he hasn't transferred anywhere in his entire career. He stayed at Barcelona, but he might transfer somewhere else to try and win himself a Champions League or he might leave Europe like he did in real life, go to Inter Miami. Back at the Ballon d'Or, is Messi even nominated? I'd be surprised if he is. He is not. Rude Rooney is the only real player that's nominated. And he does win the Ballon d'Or. That's three for Rooney. Pretty impressive. But there's no point checking the Ballon d'Or anymore because I think Messi's days are over. No Champions League again for Barcelona. Very poor. Messi is not here. Messi's gone. Messi's gone. Where's Messi? Lionel Messi's still here. 38 overall. He's a free agent. Oh, that's devastating. He might retire at the end of the season then. Okay, so we can't check his stats or anything. There's nothing we can really do. We just simulate straight through and see if he's still playing football. And we've gone to the new season. Let's see is Messi still playing? No, he's not. He's gone. Lionel Messi has officially retired. So in an incredible career, over 20 years of simulation, Lionel Messi won himself the World Cup. He won himself more or less double digits of Ballon d'Ors. If it wasn't, it was damn close. He was incredible. He won everything with Barcelona apart from the Champions League, the biggest trophy in club football. He failed to win it, which is a massive hit. So if you put Messi back in 2004 and re-simulate his entire career, he'll win everything except the Champions League. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then check out this video where I took the MLS and made it the best league in the world. All the best clubs, all the best players are now in the MLS. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching.